here. First off, let me uh, welcome everyone to this wonderful day. This is a day that's been over a decade plus in the works, and I think we're all thrilled to be here to be part of this very, very special <laughs> ceremony. So we're going to start things off by our uh, national anthem from our very own council member, Joe Hardy. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the And gracious God, we give you thanks that we have all lived long enough to see this day. <laughs> gracious God, Lord and creator of all, we gather here to bless and dedicate this ground as a gathering place for all our honored elder citizens who have served our world and our city so well and for so long so that in their golden years, they may enjoy at last a new and fully adequate senior center within the beauty and serenity of this place in the park, Huntington Beach Central Park. And may the designer and architect of our lives bless those whose vision and tireless dedication has brought us after so many years to this moment. Bless, O oh Lord, this earth, which will support the new building the earth that itself teems with life, the earth that also reminds us of our own mortality. And may the new building tread lightly on this earth, using natural resources respectfully and sparingly. Bless those who will construct this new center. May their working conditions be safe, and may no harm come to them. And may the jobs created by this new facility sustain families who call Huntington Beach their home. May all who come here be blessed every day by the caring, compassionate citizens of Huntington Beach who have made this dream a reality. This we pray in your most holy name. Amen. 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 You may be seated. Joining us for this absolutely beautiful afternoon in the city of Huntington Beach, uh, we have a range of elected officials which have come to celebrate uh, this very important moment for our city. Uh, I'd like to introduce them. Uh, we have uh, Council Member Connie Boardman. Yay! Councilman Joe Carcio. Yay! You heard the beautiful voice of uh, Council Member Jill Hardy. Councilman Jim Catapotis and Councilman Dave Sullivan. We also have with us City Manager Fred Wilson, Huntington Beach Police Chief Handy, our City Attorney Jennifer McGrath, our City Clerk Joan Flynn. And our city treasurer, Elisa Kutchen. Either here or on the way is our assemblyman, Travis Allen, as well as assemblyman, Alan Mansour. 
I'm pleased we also have Peter Kim, who is a senior advisor for the office of Michelle Steele, State Board of Equalization, and our future supervisor. We also have, representing the office of Senator Mimi Walters, Martin Payne. And I'd like to hear a very healthy uh, round of applause for these folks, uh, because yesterday uh, we symbolically received a check from Hogue Hospital. So Cynthia Perrazzo, Senior Vice President of Strategy and Business Development. Heidi Polaris, Director of Corporate Communications for Hogue Hospital. Trisha Transvelt, Director of Franchise Marketing for Hogue Hospital. And also Renee Vole, Executive Director for Hogue Medical Group. I don't know if you saw, but there were seven figures for that donation. And it's very significant towards the completion of this outstanding and very important project for the city of Huntington Beach. Uh, we have some new folks who are coming on board that I'd also like to introduce. Uh, you've seen a few mailers with these guys' pictures on them. <laughs> Councilmember-elect Barbara Glaze is here. <laughs> Councilmember-elect and my planning commissioner, Eric Peterson. <laughs> and also Councilmember-elect Mike Posey. In Huntington Beach, we also have a tradition of our former mayors making sure to continue to support city functions, and each of them have done a great job in terms of supporting this uh, as a project for uh, the city of Huntington Beach. Former Mayor Don McAllister. <laughs> former Mayor Shirley Detloff. <laughs> former Mayor Keith Bohr. and former Mayor Pro Tem, Devin Dwyer. And as one of the, their very first duties, we have the new Miss Huntington Beach, Claire Epting, and Jenna with her court. I apologize if I've forgotten anyone. I did have a very long list. Oh, we have a very important figure for, the, for, for this being completed, former Mayor Ralph Bauer, who made sure we never forgot about Measure T and that the voters asked for this senior center at this site. Yeah. This is an absolutely long time coming to have this day and to have this groundbreaking uh, this year is just so heartening. We've approved the financing, we've approved the construction manager, and we're about to approve at the city council for the person who, or the group that has the contract to do the construction for this senior center. So today is the day for us to have a celebratory groundbreaking and get started moving dirt so we can have a new senior center for the city of Huntington Beach, befitting of the 200,000 citizens of the city of Huntington Beach. We have, we have, oh, thank you very much. We have Norma Gibbs, former mayor of the city of Huntington Beach as well. And I know that both Norma Gibbs and former mayor uh, Ralph Bauer both had part in making Central Park a possibility so that this could be a site for both our library and our senior center. And so we are so looking forward to the completion uh, of this. And so with that, uh, I'd like to introduce uh, Kathy Michuk, uh, who will tell us more about the Huntington Beach Senior Center that will be located at this site. Thank you all for being here. God bless Huntington Beach and God bless America on this beautiful day. Greetings, everyone. Um, today is truly a wonderful blessing for Huntington Beach seniors. I would like to thank the City Council to help uh, for making this uh, day possible, along with Hogue Hospital for their amazing donation to help build this senior center here in Central Park. And they will help us in continuing the fabulous services that the city of Huntington Beach provides to our seniors. Thank you. I would also like to thank Dr. Ralph Bauer who led our charge, and it was quite a charge that we had. I am honored, Ralph, to have been able to work with you 
over these many, many years. And I am also very honored to be able to call you a dear friend. I'd like to thank the Board of Directors of the Huntington Beach Council on Aging. Your work and your dedication is truly admirable and this would not be possible without you as well. So thank you. I'd like to call forward former Mayor Ralph Bauer, who will also be telling us all of the work they put in with the Senior Center Committee. Thank you very much, Ralph Bauer. This is uh, my uh, 50th year in Huntington Beach. And when I arrived here, uh, I was young and vigorous, and now I'm old and grumpy. <laughs> and I have to give recognition, my wife will kill me, but I have to give recognition to my wife. Uh, we were high school sweethearts, and uh, we've been together for a long, long time, and I'll let you figure out from our ages about how long it's been. Because she'll kill me if I tell you how long it's been. <laughs> anyway, Sharni's just sitting over there. She's grimacing. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm going to digress a, a little bit from the uh, direct festivities because it, there's a... Uh, occurrence in my life that uh, affected me uh, fairly deeply. Uh, we just had Veterans Day. Um, I spent uh, 15 months in the Korean War on a small minesweeper wooden ship called the USS Firecrest, and we we uh, swept mines in four areas: Hungnam, Wonsan, Chodo, and Heju, places you've never heard of before, and you probably never hear of again. Uh, I always think back about uh, the fact that there were 37,000 young Americans that never made it home again, and we got shot at a few times. Uh, the Korean gunners were pretty bad shots, so no, nothing, nothing bad ever happened, luckily. But it weighs on your mind that uh, 37,000 young Americans didn't make it home, and I made it home. So I kind of feel an obligation to those people. I have a kin kinship to those people in particular, because uh, they never saw their husbands or their wives or their friends or their kids or their parents again. And uh, I was lucky enough to live a long, happy life, especially in Huntington Beach. Anyway, uh, the, real, the real issue in anything like this is the fact there's a partnerships. And you have to thank a whole raft of people, and some I'll probably leave out, but I want to call your attention to a fellow named Jim Engel. Where's Jim? Jim was uh, the uh, director of the community service at the time, and uh, he was very responsive to something that started uh, a long time ago. And I'd just gotten off the city council, and I went to the first meeting in January of 2003 of the Council on Aging, and I looked around, I said, well, what do you folks need? They said, well, we, we'd like to have a new senior center. And being kind of a smart ass, I said, oh, yeah, I can help you do that. And here, here we are. <laughs> we, we, finally, we finally pulled it off. But uh, there were lots of others. And then the council uh, uh, hired a consultant. The consultant did a good job. Uh, we had an election. Uh, the voters of, uh, of Huntington Beach voted for this, not by much, but they did vote for it. Uh, and then on and on, we, uh, went on and on, and a lot of debate about the, how, to, how to pay for it. And I can tell you that our current city manager, Fred Wilson, uh, was a dynamo in terms of figuring out how do we pay for this thing after a lot of controversy. So, Fred, where's Fred? Over here. He's hanging out over here. You can thank this man. The bucks, if the bucks aren't there, nothing happens. And uh, Fred figured out a way to get the bucks. And uh, then finally, uh, I've served on a lot of committees. I've sat through a lot of, a lot of meetings over the last uh, 50 years or so. And I can tell you that the Council on Aging is probably one of the very best I've ever, uh, ever been sat on. It's, uh, it's older people like myself. <laughs> They're very vigorous. You know, they used to have this, when they talked talk about the Black Panther, but we're the Gray Panthers now, I suppose. They, and uh, we do make a lot of trouble from time to time when we're awake. We're not always awake. <laughs> when we're awake, we make a lot of trouble. And uh, I want to thank that group for, for being very, very supportive. And uh, they all show up. They all show up early. Uh, everybody works. It's a, it's a really outstanding group. And the Kathy Meschuk, of course, is the leader. But there have been a, a lot of people who have done a super job. So it's really a partnership uh, that's caused this thing to happen. So there's many, many people that uh, need to be thanked for this, especially the voters of Huntington Beach who voted for this thing. So let's have at it. Let's start uh, turning some dirt here and uh, putting some 254s up and build a senior center. Can I do that? Yeah. Yeah.